Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to th take this opportunity to thank Richard for asking the candidates to uh, videotape their statements for the upcoming election on April 14th, 2015. I have been involved with uh, politics in Hadley for the last 27 years on a continuous basis. I've had 15 years on the school committee and now I have just finished finishing up my 12th year as a uh, member of the Board of Selectmen. I'm here today to ask you to re-elect me to the Office of Selectmen again for another three-year term. Uh, I have missed probably two meetings out of my 27 years. I have continuously marched in the Memorial Day Parade for 27 years. I felt it was my honor and my duty to represent Hadley, uh, even when I was on the school committee. I'm a member of a five-member board, um, so none of us make any one decision ourselves. We make collaborative decisions on all issues that come before us. We bring our ideas, we uh, listen to one another, we try to communicate with one another, and I feel that's one of my strongest viewpoints, is that I'm able to do this. Um, as a nurse, I've been at Cooley Dickinson Hospital for 45 years. So I have a history of uh, continuous service, no matter whether it's in my nursing career or here in the town of Hadley. It has been a true honor to represent and to dedicate myself to the town of Hadley for the last 27 years. I've tried to make decisions that have been best for the whole town and not just for any individual purpose. I try to take everybody's best interest at heart when I'm um, making a decision on important matters. I have represented um, the Board of Selectmen as the liaison from, on the um, fire and police. Um, I've worked with them over the last five years to uh, bring their budgets to what they are, and I think that we should really concentrate more on their, uh, the infrastructure that we have. Uh, we've taken care of our schools. Uh, continuously over the years we feel that education is a very important part of Hadley. Uh, it, those are the young adults that are going to be taking care of us as we grow older. I appreciate um, everyone's opinions that come before us. Um, it hasn't always been easy to make decisions but have done it to the best of our abilities. I have also served on the negotiating team for um, the, all the contracts uh, for the police, fire, DPW, and dispatch. Um, I see as our future, um, hopefully to keep Route 9 as our business district and that we'll be able to continue to have agriculture as a big part of um, the town of Hadley. I would like to see it stay as it is. Uh, when my husband first married me, it was, um, I'm taking you out of the big city, and that was Northampton, and bringing you to the town of Hadley, uh, into the country. So here we are, we're still in the country, we still can declare ourselves as agriculture and rural, um, except for Route 9. And we all have to remember that Route 9 is our business district. Um, this is what keeps our taxes low, and what affords us to, to start to do many things. Up until a few years ago, we didn't have the opportunity to have a capital uh, expenditure um, for our needs of the town. So a lot of our buildings, um, infrastructures of the sewer and the water, um, they haven't been taken care of as they should have. So hopefully over the last few years with the meals tax and the hotel tax, we've been able to address some of these issues now. Um, we seem to be on a roll and getting some of these things done and I would like to see, see that move forward. So I would like to ask the Hadley voters to elect me on uh, April 14th to another three-year term. I would be more than proud to serve this town again Thank you very much for your consideration. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Jerry Devine, and I'm running for the position of Board of Selectmen. 
Um, this will be my second stint as a selectman. I previously had been a selectman for six years in between 2004 and 2010. I'd like to thank everybody for their support um, over the last few years with it. I worked really hard to be a good selectman and I appreciate everybody acknowledging uh, that hard work. I believe strongly in investing in one's community, but that's a family trait. My grandfather, John Devine, um, who was the farmer in Hadley, was also assessor for 35 years. But it wasn't only that. Uh, John Devine also uh, was there when the dike was being built way back in the early uh, 1900s. He was a timekeeper on that job. Um, also, uh, when I look at town pictures of when the town hall was uh, renovated, uh, I see his picture there. And in reading in the town's uh, tricentenary, uh, John Devine's name was there as being parts of many committees, as also being his major contributor for it. Uncle John Devine uh, served as elector, trustee, and president of Smith Charities for over 40 years, and was also on the planning board for in excess of 30 years. He was a farmer as well. Aunt Mary Fitzgibbons was an assistant uh, accountant for the town of Hadley, then she became an accountant, and she also dedicated many years to being a trustee of the Goodwin Memorial Library and worked as an elector for many years, elected teller. Joe Fitzgibbon served many years in various boards and building committees for Hadley. He's chosen to take an early retirement this year from both the Housing Authority and the Community Preservation Committee as he approaches his 91st birthday. Joe, thanks for everything you did for the town. Joe and Mary Fitzgibbons were both recognized for their service of volunteerism and their dedication to the town uh, by the town report being dedicated to them in 2006. As you can see, I've had some tough acts to follow uh, with the family goals as far as commitment to the municipality. My first foray into um, being involved with the town was to be part of the Long Range Planning Committee, which was an absolutely great way to learn about the community. A list of questions was sent out to all the people and uh, whether they wanted the community to look like uh, as far as police department, uh, fire department, the municipality, the town hall, other things, vistas, uh, and how this town should grow and at what rate it should grow. So it was a wonderful experience to get the feedback from a lot of the citizens as they filled out that report. As they already said, I was a past selectman for six, for six years. I was in the Hadley 350th committee, wonderful opportunity, worked with a lot of different people on that who um, aren't necessarily involved with politics, but you know are very involved with the community and really wanted the 300, 350th celebration to go off great. I was also on the Hopkins Academy uh, 350th committee, and uh, the irony to that is I think I'm the only divine in Hadley that didn't go to Hopkins Academy, but I was an honor to serve it. I was the master of ceremonies for the 350th uh, celebration ball and also the Ho Hopkins Outstanding Alumni Reception. Again, that alumni reception, which is shown on Channel 5 or now on Channel uh, 192, uh, shows a lot of the different people who came through the municipality, through H Hadley and Hopkins, and where they've gone with their life. And it's an amazing thing to see, you know, just how much, uh, how many things these people have done. I got a great, great uh, uh, experience with learning all that. I was a founding member of the um, Friends of Hadley Park and Rec with Jimmy Hayes and um, Peter Benben. I'm a member of the Hadley Historical Society. I'm a member of the Hadley Farm Museum. I completed John Devine's term with Smith Charities upon his passing. I'm a director at the Three County Fairgrounds. I'm the town moderator that I have been for the last three years. Um, very involved with that as well. Just a, a great experience with that too. And I was a 2013 recipient of the Fred Oakley Volunteer Award for the town of Hadley. And everybody knows uh, Fred Oakley and how much he did for the municipality, know how much that means to me to be even considered for his award. I'm a graduate of Western New England College uh, with a BSBA in business management. My wife and family have lived, my wife and I and family have lived in Hadley for over 23 years. We own and operate Divine Overhead Doors from our home with the limited business zone at 106 West Street in Hadley. It's the 14th oldest house in Hadley. Long story short, that's my resume. A few weeks ago, I attended Senator Rosenberg's municipal conference, which was over in Northampton. When I was a select board member, I never missed one of the conferences. I also attended all the MMA meetings in Boston. 
as a select board member. And uh, since becoming a moderator, I've attended all the mass moderator uh, association meetings. It's very important to be involved with the local government, but it's also important to be involved on the state issues. Uh, most of what affects uh, most of what affects Hadley happens on a local level, but much of it happens on a state level, and you need to be involved, and you need to have the town of Hadley involved with the state as well. You shouldn't be asking your legislators for help the first time that you meet them. You should have a relationship with them. An example of this is uh, when the Hadley Dyke uh, situation happened. That's I was on the board when that happened, and I was the chairman of the board when actually the uh, uh, it was getting fixed. Um, originally, we just found that there had been a gap that was up above on the top of the dike. Mr. Golding was out walking and found it. Um, push came to shove, and he noticed it and mentioned it to the town. And the next thing you know, the town was looking at it and sticking a lath in the hole and finding out that it wasn't just a crevice on top of, on top of the dike, that it actually was a relatively deep crevice and it needed to have something done about it. Well, you know, everybody sprang into action. We notified Senator Rosenberg. We read, notified Rep. Seibeck. We notified the, Hadley Corps, the uh, Army Corps of Engineers who actually had done the renovation on the dike at the last time. And, Everybody knew something needed to be done, but nobody was actually sure what actually did need to be done. Well, we got the engineers involved and, you know, the rest is history. But what we didn't know at that point in time was how this was going to be paid for. We absolutely knew it had to be repaired. We knew it had to, um, we had to support it and get it fixed. So we hired an engineer who was working as our engineering firm who went out and uh, hired a company to design the dike that needed to be uh, fixed. And then we ended up uh, hiring a company to uh, do the actual dike repair work. In the meantime, uh, Governor Deval Patrick was coming over to Amherst, over to the bank center, uh, to do some speaking. And uh, lo and behold, the town of Hadley was asked if anybody wanted to go over there and speak on behalf of the town. And I said, yeah, I actually did want to go over there because I wanted to alert the governor as to what we had going on here, other than the senator and the state rep, and see if there was any means or what he thought was the best means available for us to get some funding if the state funding was anything was available. Well, it ended up that we uh, applied for the uh, environmental bond bill. The town of Hadley eventually received $800,000. And again, that goes back to the fact that this isn't, all that happens in Hadley doesn't only happen in Hadley and we need to be involved on a state level as well. And I always have been and always will be. Um, another example of what uh, occurred while I was on the select board was we also built a water filtration plant. Big learning experience, uh, a lot to understand about DCAM certified, a lot to understand about prevailing wage, and a lot to understand about how much the exact cost of projects are um, versus what you think they're going to be. Big number, big ticket item. Uh, didn't want to find perchlorate in the water up in the um, Mount Warner Wells, but we did and we had to solve that problem. Another thing that happened was uh, Ironically, one of the first things that happened uh, was when I was first elected to the select board, and I'll never forget this as long as I live, but one of the problems was that the town hall looked atrocious on the outside. We had recently, or within a few years beforehand, had the town hall painted. Apparently, it wasn't done properly. The paint wasn't done right. The prep wasn't done right. Nothing was done right. And as a result, we had a building that was cracking, and um, it looked disgusting on the outside of this building. So at one of the select board meetings, I, I leaned over and I asked the rest of the select board in, in, a, in a quiet kind of time uh, if they minded terribly if I got involved with seeing if there was any chance uh, about getting uh, this outside of this building fixed. And I'll, I'll never forget uh, John Connor as he sat down there. He was the chairman of the board at the time and he leaned down at me and with a twinkle in his Irish eye. He said, yeah, that's a good project for you. Good luck with that. Well, it ended up that I became very lucky with the project because at the exact same time, the town of Hadley was adopting the CPA uh, Community Preservation Act. And the first uh, request for the money for the CPA uh, was $10,000, which was a request, request that I put into the CPC and was brought forward on town meeting floor. The $10,000 was to not paint the town hall, obviously that's not enough money for that, but to do the investigation to find out why it didn't work the first time and if it was possible if we were going to be able to paint the hall, town hall again. Well. Lo and behold, uh, one of the cards that I picked up at a mass municipal meeting at Boston was for an engineering firm that was out of Dalton. I got in a car, drove out to Dalton, explained to them what was going on. I brought some pictures of the town hall. 
And he said, you know, absolutely that he'd be able to uh, offer some information and help us with that project. The $10,000 went towards it. He came down to Hadley, looked at the building, um, took care of uh, the design work for us. Sherwin-Williams came in, investigated it, gave us a written uh, uh, proposal that said that they were going to warranty the work and guarantee the paint as it goes on. I went and looked at three different jobs that were done by the uh, eventual contractor that was hired to do the painting here. And lo and behold, um, for the 350th parade with all the regalia on the outside of it and all the flags put on it, the town hall never looked better. Very proud of that. I think our current select board is a great mix of, for the future of Hadley and going to bring us forward. Uh, Gil and John are, are um, particularly strong in the infrastructure of the municipality as well as um, matters of the DPW. And one of the most important things that we have going for us right now is that we're look, going to be looking for a new DPW director. And I think having those two guys on the board, understanding that's going to be a great asset to us. Molly Keegan is a, has worked at a lot of different boards in Hadley and is a very good financial mind. I, I know and respect her very much for all the work that she's done for us. Joyce Chungalo has a great knowledge of the schools and is a tough negotiator, union negotiator on behalf of the board and the town. And she has 12 years on the board and 12 years of experience. And I think she does a good job with that and is useful. I look forward to working with all of them if I'm elected. I know and understand the job of being a selectman. I missed it. Over the last few days of campaigning, I've had the chance to go out and talk to many people in the municipality. Um, ask for their support, put a sign on their lawn. And as you always will when talking to a Hadley voter, we got plenty of uh, ideas as to what needs to be done, what should be done, what will be done, et cetera. And I know and respect what they're saying with that, and I'll be able to bring that forward as well. One of the other things is, is I really appreciate, you know, how many times I've heard and got phone calls from people saying I want to sign and uh, that, that are saying I'm glad you're running. You did a good job in the past and we're looking forward to you being on the board again. It takes everybody to run a community, not just a few. I told you before about my grandfather and his involvement, my Uncle John and his involvement. They were both dairy farmers. I told you about Joe and Mary Fitzgibbons and the job they'd done. They did. Um, John Devine Sr. and John Devine Jr. did that while they were milking cows. They were dairy farmers. Joe and Mary Fitzgibbons did it while both holding down jobs and raising kids, six kids. Um, I, I know everybody feels like they don't have a lot of time, but my, my request to you and to everybody out there is to donate and give time to your town. It makes it a better town for everybody so that people don't feel that just a few people are out there making the decisions. Sure. Um, you know, that, that'll happen. People will get involved and they'll make the decisions. But the more people that are involved, the less toil it takes on, on individuals who do a lot of the work and it gives people an opportunity to help with their town. Again, my name is Jerry Devine. I'm asking for your vote on April 14th so I can put this sign back in front of me on the, at the table that I, I miss and be your selectman. Thank you. Hello, I'm John Minchkowski, and I want to tell you why I would be the best choice for Selectman. I want to tell you about my passion for Hadley, what my experiences are and concerns uh, are for Hadley. My roots has always been in Hadley. I have grown up to be part of Hadley, not only for its natural preserved beauty of farmland, mountains, and rivers, but for the fact the people of this town love it here too. I established my business, Arc Weldon, more than 40 years ago here in Hadley, along with my wife, Nancy, of more than 50 years. We continue to make Hadley our home and raised our family of four daughters and a son here. Nancy and I are blessed with 16 grandchildren, and it pl pleases us today that we have our family close by and some of our grandchildren are attending the same Hadley schools that we attended. Growing up in Hadley has made me aware of how Hadley has grown. Hadley has given me a deep appreciation of the land, people, and changes that have sculptured what Hadley is today. I appreciate that Hadley has given me and I have always wanted to give back to Hadley. 
I have never hesitated to be part of Hadley's future and welfare. Formerly, I served as a selectman, sewer commissioner, and presently I'm serving as a board on the planning board. I truly enjoy working with others and learning valuable insights by serving Hadley. I have served on the Hampshire County Charter Commission, the Waterways Committee, the Bike Path Committee, the Elementary Feasibility Committee, the Elementary School Building Committee, the Public Safety Complex Building Committee, and lastly, the Department of Public Works Committee. I have also contributed more than 20 years each as a volunteer firefighter and founder of HEART, the Hadley Aquatic Rescue Team. This quality moved on to represent all of Hampshire County. Thus, I pr proud to have served and accumulated over 50 and a half years to the people of this town and community. I'm asked, why do I want to still be involved in town government? My reply is, and I, I acquired a great love for Hadley, a passion to preserve what I had and that Hadley to remain one of the best places for our children and our elderly. I expect to live out the rest of my life here in Hadley. However, there are a few areas of concerns me greatly. Our drinking water, the taste of chlorine may not seem all that bad to you, but it's amazing to me that not so long ago, Hadley was known to have absolutely the best water in that any other town around us. So what happened? Did we do enough? What could have been done to preserve our precious water supply? It is apparent, not that we're ch checking our water qu quality and treating our water, it just continues to get worse. As a selectman, I would, I would like the opportunity to know the truth regarding our drinking water. I sometimes don't sleep at night thinking of what we could do and to get back our valuable drinking water back. Our highway department, be aware that our highway department was converted over to a so-called DPW over recent years. We tried this DPW method that proved to show no improvement whatsoever. Instead, taxpayers paid an extra half a million dollars for a salary, forcing the department to suffer. Morale of the department lowered to its lowest. We need to be accountable and help these departments be all they can be. We need to address what is not working and not turn a blind eye. We should not have hired no more new supervisors without first ensuring adequate monies reserved to do major projects rather than postpone important projects because of lack of funds. Enough is enough. Taxpayers cannot afford expensive mistakes such as this. Recently, there was a sewer line break on Lorana Lane. It actually is a collapse of the sewer line. Knowing what happened should send a strong message to our selectmen and make the taxpayers aware. The, re the recent replacement of the short section of sewer line actually cost the town a quarter of a million dollars to replace. Please realize this is just the tip of the iceberg. I ask you, what about the rest of the infrastructure? What will break next and where w what would it cost? Now is the time to take a serious look at the entire town's infrastructure, water, sewer, and drainage. As selectman, I would like to see a cost analysis of the repairs of all municipal buildings. We must seriously bring ourselves to practice preventive maintenance rather than let things deteriorate to extremes cost and repairs and replacement. Let us be proactive. For you that, that understand that if for you to understand my frustrations, I would like to give you some insight about my tenure as sewer commissioner. As sewer commissioner, I was very instrumental in the force of, to create a proactive board. It took countless hours to develop plans, procedures, and operations, which would help the department <clears throat> be, be well prepared for any emergency. While being sewer commissioner, we also upgrade policies and regulations. 
I see that since I have left the board and reviewing the sewer regulations recently, no improvements have been established in these regulations. That is probably because the Selectman's Office has taken over as acting sewer commissioners. I ask myself, don't they realize? Are they waiting for something to happen? What neighborhood will be affected and how long? Being re reactive does not work well here. I wholeheartedly believe and have always believed to be proactive. At the spring annual town meeting, residents will, be, will have the opportunity to vote on an offer of the Montgomery Rose property located on Route 47 in North Hadley. Because I do not want to see any more valuable farmland disappear, this property will serve Hadley well into the future without destroying any more open farmland. The Montgomery Rose facility and land is being offered to the town at a price not to exceed $2 million and an additional $1 million for retrofit and updating buildings and property. I do support this proposal. It is one of the best offers to the town I have seen in the past 30 years. The offer includes 26,000 square feet of buildings. It has its municipal water supply. It has its own water supply. It's in within distance of our town sewer. It, is, it has greenhouses for community gardens or associated uses. It also includes 17 acres of APR land, which holds a value of $14,000 an acre. Additional, another 15 acres of buildable land and buildings for use of our DPW, fire department, and other town departments. It has a $25,000 per year income from cell tower lease that will, will be included in the purchase. There is frontage also on Route 47 for future municipal buildings, a 10,000 gallon double fuel storage tank, plenty of southern roof exposure for fu future uh, solar panels. Each metal building has its own heating system and there is a standby by generator with, pro with propane tanks. In closing, I especially wish to thank my wife, Nancy, for all her support, tolerance, and understanding of my passion to Hadley. I extend special thanks to, to all my children, family, neighbors, and family who have all supported me and helped my accomplishment all in my endeavors I undertook. Now, one can, no one can do this alone. We need each other. I promise to you I'll do my best and be available where I'm needed. I ask you for my vote in the upcoming election, Tuesday, April 14th, for Selectman. Thank you. Hello, my name is Linda Sanderson, and I am a candidate for Hadley Town Treasurer. I have lived in Hadley for just over 30 years, having moved here with my husband, Bill Dwyer. Our three children, Daniel, Allison, and Michael, were all born and raised here. They attended our Hadley Public Schools, and all three graduated from Hopkins Academy. My interest in contributing to the town began as a part of a group of mothers who came together to apply for the first Hadley Preschool grant. We got that grant, and the program was up and running the following year in the basement of Goodwin Library, and it continues today at Hadley Elementary School. Soon after, I volunteered to be a leader for our daughter's first grade brownie troop. We continued together, same troop and leaders, through juniors, cadets, and seniors. Several scouts earned their silver and even gold awards, and 12 of them stayed with the troop all the way through high school graduation. I was first appointed to Hadley's Finance Committee in 1987. Much of my focus in our law practice was in business management, financial accounting, and tax and government filings for our corporate clients and charitable organizations. I was able to bring those background skills to my new role on Finance Committee. And in the process, I also learned a lot about the idiosyncrasies of municipal finance. 
I really enjoyed my two terms, working with the other members of the town's financial team and preparing the annual budgets and presenting them to the town at our annual town meetings. Four years ago, I was asked to rejoin the Finance Committee. I accepted immediately and was glad for the chance to jump back in with Hadley's financial planning. Over these two terms, it has become clear that Hadley is facing some real challenges. We work hard to fund the increasing demands on our operational budgets, both for school and for town needs. At the same time, we are faced with a number of capital projects that need to be addressed. I am now running for Hadley Town Treasurer because I want the opportunity to play a larger role in planning Hadley's financial future and to work more closely with the town's financial team to come up with some workable solutions for financing our town's needs. It truly would be an honor to continue to serve Hadley in this way. Please vote Linda Sanderson for town treasurer on Tuesday, April 14th. Thank you. Hi, my name is Paul Pfeiffer, and I'm running for a seat on the Hadley School Committee. I'm running as a write-in candidate for the three-year term. My last name is spelled P-H-I-F, as in Frank, E-R. I've lived in Hadley now with my family for over six years, and we've really grown to love this community and the school. I have two boys, and we've had a child in the school system every year that we've been here. We've really grown to fond of the school, the teachers, uh, and all that it provides for our boys. Uh, my boys are fairly active in sports, and I've helped coach basketball, baseball, soccer every year that we've been here, in large part just to be, uh, spend more time with my children, and also because I know sports for me and our family are an important part of the educational process. I uh, feel that the school is really a heart of this community and that's really why I want to run is I want to do my part do what I can to help make the school the best that it can be because it's really frankly all about the kids and the education and so I, whatever I can offer through volunteer time to help the school be as successful as it can be for our kids and our community I'd like to provide that help a little bit about myself I work as a manager at the US Fish and Wildlife Service here in Hadley and I manage offices, 11 offices, from Maine to Virginia, where we do work related to endangered species and habitat conservation. I have a background managing budgets. I manage a, about a $25 million budget and about 150 people uh, spread across those 11 states. I also uh, have experience in education. I went to graduate school years ago got a PhD in biology, and currently am an adjunct professor at the University of Massachusetts. Really, I think what I can offer, though, is my dedication and uh, my experience and my love for this community. I'm willing to do whatever I can, volunteer my time to help make the schools as good as it can be, again, because I really think it's all about the kids and the community. So I'd welcome your support on April 14th. And again, my name is Paul Pfeiffer as a write-in candidate for the Hadley School Committee three-year term. Thank you.